Hey guys, what's up? Today I got a little tutorial for y'all. And uh, as you read by the title, we're talking about fishnets. Now, drawing fishnets manually is something I have done and I don't care to do it too much. <laughs> but I discovered a, a little trick to it while working on this piece. This is actually an older painting I did in 2019, but it illustrates the technique really well. Uh, I actually already have the completed uh, fishnets here applied uh, but I'm just gonna go through the process I went through to reapply the same effect now the first thing you got to do this is for clip studio paint only unfortunately because clip studio paint is the only thing as, as far as I'm aware that has an asset library like this now we go into uh, our patterns here and I believe what we're looking for is a monochromatic pattern took a little bit of searching but we finally found it what we're looking for here is uh, the fence pattern. So it's a monochrome pattern and a gray pattern. Now the gray one, it's not gonna start as the uh, the right color here, but that's totally okay. Don't need to worry about it. Uh, we'll close that up. Now the first thing to do is to get it scaled. And actually, you know what? Let's get it on one layer and get it scaled correctly. So you have your fence layer and you're uh, just getting it into you kind of want to get it into the first position it's going to be in. Uh, let's go with the, yeah, let's go with the twists on the side here. I think that looks a little bit better. And uh, I think we want it to be about that size. That looks about right. So we'll make a couple copies. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rasterize it. And then we just grab our lasso, make a rough circle like that. Uh, select inverse real quick. And uh, just delete that excess for now. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually get a little bit closer to the edge because it will affect our, our next step here. So we're just going to delete all the excess once again. And before I deselect, like a fool, I will instead select inverse to, to re-grab that selection. And then what we want to do is do a mesh transform. And mesh transforms are really cool because they let you move things around in basically what's three-dimensional space. And what you want to do with your uh, your fence texture here is just basically press it up against the surface that you're trying to mimic. And what this mesh transform does is it basically distorts those edges as if they were following uh, the 3D shape uh, that you're outlining with your transform. So it's a really, really useful tool for uh, situations like this. And get it to a place that you think looks pretty good. Uh, looks like this needs to come out a bit. This might need to come out a little bit too. And yeah, that looks that looks pretty good to me. So we're doing okay. Deselect, and there's still a little bit of excess here, so we can just come in with our eraser and easily get rid of it. And uh, that's the first kind of segment of, of your uh, of your fishnet. Now what you can also do is just copy this layer a couple times to get it nice and dark. And we can merge those back down. And then change the mode to multiply. And we could even maybe copy it again. It depends on how you know dark you want to have it. We got a little bit more access up here that we can clean up, but that's no big problem. And there you go, you got your first segment of a fishnet all done for you. Now let's go to this next one. So this one we did not rasterize yet, and that is because we still need to manipulate this object. It's sized correctly, but this is going down uh, to be down here uh, on this sort of extended portion of her lower leg and this is an infinite pattern you can drag this wherever you want really it doesn't matter that much uh, i'm basically just trying to get the angle right and that looks pretty good so we're gonna do that and uh then we're gonna rasterize that layer too and the next thing we do is we grab our lasso get nice and close here select the inverse and clear out the axis like before and much like before, all we have to do is use our mesh transform and start wrapping 
the fishnet around her leg in a way that hints towards three-dimensional structure. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this. There's probably a way to do it better, more precisely, uh, things like that. I am not too worried about that. I'm just trying to get something that looks visually correct. Then all we gotta do is get rid of our excess here. And a little bit of excess over here. A little bit of excess over here. And we have our second fishnet right there. And then we can merge those back down, make them a multiply layer. You don't need to make them a multiply layer. And then I think I copied it one more time, and then lowered the opacity, but you just want it to match. And you know, if you see a little like rough spot where stuff is overlapping weird, you can always just go in and clean that up. Oh, uh, you don't really need to sometimes. Uh, it might just look okay. A lot of these are going to be very small details. You know, so when you're viewing this at a full-size piece, it's not really going to come into play too much. There's no need to sweat it super, super hard. But if you want to, you can always just clean up more and more as you see things that you think should be fixed. And then we uh, just do the whole process one more time. And uh, it's honestly the exact same thing for the back leg. Adjust the opacity so that it matches and looks nice and consistent with everything else. And then as you zoom out, hey, you got some fishnets. That's just about it. If you look really close, it might look a little bit strange perhaps, but nobody's looking at your piece that close, to be honest. <laughs> nobody's going in with a microscope, you know, to uh, evaluate the molecular compounds that are building up your fishnets. But this is just a, a quick and easy way to turn a chain link fence into a fishnet. And I found it really effective whenever I've had to draw fishnets because they take a really long time to do manually. <laughs> and it adds a really nice quick pop of texture to pretty much any outfit. With how fast and how easy this technique is, absolutely worth it in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that's how you make some fishnets. And I will see you guys next week for some more arting. Peace.